Breaking news out of Florida involving an NFL star. Washington Redskins safety Sean Taylor was shot this morning. Some jolting news off the field on Monday. Redskins safety Sean Taylor in critical condition. Hundreds of people out here uh, holding vigil for Sean Taylor. Tragedy in the National Football League after the death of Redskins safety Sean Taylor. The Sean Taylor that, that I knew at the time that I knew him, everybody didn't love him. Please join us in a moment of silence as we honor his memory. Thank you. Redskins take the field defensively with 10 players to honor the memory of Sean Taylor. Now, uh, will Buffalo actually take a snap here? Well, they may run the play. Redskins have the deep safety and Leron Landry. They're going to go with 10 players. Yeah. Uh, we had heard that they might allow the clock to run out, but no, they're going to run on the play. Redskins have the deep safety and Leron Landry. They're going to go with 10 players. Yeah. Uh, we had heard that they might allow the clock to run out. But no, they're going to run a play. It's a handoff. It's a running play. Fred Jackson sweeping around the left side. Gets a block up to the 40. And knocked out of bounds by Landry right at the Buffalo bench. So the Redskins go with 10 to honor their former teammate. And knowing the Sean Taylor that I know, um, it's great to see the love that he gets. You know, everywhere I go, every day, is somebody going to mention Sean Taylor? Is, is somebody going to show me a Sean Taylor tattoo? a football player by every definition of the word. And, and look, it was a career uh, cut short, but he made such an impact in the short time that he had in this league. I had this obituary in my um, living room. I had this picture up for a while just to remind me, you know, what's important. He was, after all, Big Irv Favre's son. Never more so than on a Monday in Oakland in 2003 the night after his father died. You know, Coach called and said, Miss Farr will do whatever you want. He can come home. I said, oh, no, his dad would really have a fit if he didn't play in the game. You know, and it didn't take long for me to say, you got to play in this game. All the times he told me to get my ass up, get your ass out there and play. Are you crazy? He knows when to be business, and he knows when to play. I was so nervous before the game. I was the most nervous I've ever been in the game. When they call out the offense tonight at Oakland, I got a standing ovation from the fans. That doesn't happen. So under tremendous emotional duress, Red Favre goes to work. Under the perfect circumstances, I've never been able to do what I've done in that game. so full of emotion. I wished I could be on the sidelines just telling him after every play what a great job he did and your dad's watching. America's most well-known number four is thrown for four touchdown passes in one half of play. It was so emotional, but it was so special. I mean, it was like, you know, the entire game was specifically for his dad. You watch the game and it was like, this is like a movie. How is this happening? Is it luck? Is it his teammates making plays for him? No, you know what? It might be some of that, but you know what? It's Brett Favre. I was in the hotel. And we was all sitting down, and I got, I, I got the call from my mom. I just told him LeBron had been shot. I got that call, and I said he was gone. I just broke down. I walked like two miles, just thinking and crying. 
just asking God why. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Guy coming up, carrying on, and they got into an altercation, and phew, he shoots him. 48 hours, 48 hours, I ain't sleep. I was in the hotel by myself, just sitting there, just talking to him. I didn't sleep. I don't know how I even played when I played for him. I could see it in his eyes how he was so anxious to be out there. And I know he wanted to say something, but he couldn't. Come on, Alexander, come here. We got a brother. Pain. Pain, guys. We got a brother having pain. Oh, we our brother's keeper. Yes, oh, we our brother's keeper. Yes, we got people that's down. We got captains that's down. Right. All we got is each other. Just yes, go ahead, family on three. We our brother's keeper. Now, family on three. One, two, three, family. On the opening drive, Alexander got his chance. It's intercepted in the end zone, picked off by the Buccaneers, and Quan Alexander brings it out to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. Do it for Broad. That's the first thing uh, she got. Yes. Do it for Broad, Quan. I'm afraid this one's coming back. Offside. Defense is right in. That was the shot. Oh, man. I was like, man, that was it. That was a pick. I just kept on going, kept on grinding. Then the plays started coming. Bootleg rollout, dumps the ball off short. Underneath, caught by Jacob Tammy. Tammy's lasso to drop on the 24-yard line. Quan Alexander's been everywhere in this first half. It hurt him, but in a way, it pushed him. And he was so passionate about that game. It's picked off, intercepted to the 40. That's a nice play by Quan Alexander, who is playing a whale of a game today. Today. That is his guardian angel. Boy, oh, took that ball like his head. <laughs> right. I didn't do none of it. He did it all. He was making the plays. I didn't make the plays. He was making it. By the final whistle, Alexander had 11 tackles, a forced fumble and recovery, and an interception. The game of his life. I wanted to be the first person to him after that game. He stood up when he could have laid down, and he played an amazing game for his brother. Torrey Smith, the wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens, his younger brother, Tevin Smith, died early this morning in a motorcycle accident not far from here. I mean, I just thank everyone, you know, on behalf of my family, man. It is. I was telling my teammates a minute ago, it's, just, it's new territory for, for me personally. You know, I never really had to deal with you know, a death in the family, you know, let alone you know, my brother. You know, and our family, everyone's so tight, and, you know, just like a lot of other families. But it's, a, it's part of life, and you know, due to my teammates and my family and friends, I, I'll be able to get over it.
want to just thank all y'all for, for y'all support, man. Um, this, this new territory for me. Uh, love you, baby. We got you. We're your brothers, baby. We got 60 brothers in here, baby. Mm -hmm. This new territory for me. Yeah, with, uh, you know, a loss like this, man. And, you know, if it wasn't for y'all, I, I don't think I would have been, been here today. You know, it's, it's tough, man. I appreciate all support. You know, y'all really made me feel better. And, you know, I, it's going to make this fight a whole lot easier. You know, a lot easier to get over with, man. And I just appreciate y'all. Love all y'all, coaches, players, everyone, man. And just thank you. Yes. Love you, man. Love you. Let's go. Bring it in tight, baby. Bring it in tight. Hey, Ravens on three. One, two, three. Ravens. Let's get Brooklyn.